On this week's episode of What's Up Weekly, I use Greek Life Teams Up to help young Hoosiers kick off Halloween. We'll tell you about the sweet event that is helping kids stay safe. And we take to the street to see what people's favorite books are for National Book Lovers Day. What's Up Weekly starts now. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of What's Up Weekly. I'm Anna Black. And I'm Kelly Lichter. David Baker Avenue looked just a little different last week. See how IU's Greek Life created a safe Halloween for kids. Last week, IU's Panhellenic Association and Interfraternity Council hosted its annual Safe Halloween. IU's Multicultural Greek Council and National Panhellenic Council were also involved. The event helps bring Bloomington families and the Greek community together. I hope the kids just have a lot of fun and get to interact with the college students, which I know doesn't always happen. So this is a really great opportunity kind of each year for a lot of interaction and just everyone to have fun together. Kids trick-or-treated along the David Baker Avenue extension. Trick-or-treaters range in all ages and costumes. Spirited fits included superheroes, princesses, and even blow-up dinosaurs. Greek houses pass out candy and help participants get in the spooky spirit. Uh, I think it's important to give back. I feel like the community does a lot for us. So just giving back to them, helping the kids, having, letting them have a good time. I feel like that's it's just like a good, good thing to do. So we can help the community in so many different ways. And since Bloomington is so small, we have like this whole two streets full of houses that kids can come and have a good night. <laughs> Kids started at Sorority Houses Alpha Delta Pi and Alpha Z Delta and worked their way up the extension to Phi Sigma Kappa. The annual event allows for the community to connect with the campus. I mean, it was so cute to see everyone in their little Halloween costumes. And I feel like on campus, we're just like in a bubble. Like it didn't, it didn't even feel like Halloween on Monday. So it kind of like gave me a little glimpse of home and when I used to pass out candy. I know that I was really busy, but I know if I didn't have other activities, I would have been there. And everyone who I know who participated had such a great time. Yeah, absolutely. And National Book Lovers Day is coming up on November 5th. So Madison Renbarger went around and asked IU students what their favorite book was. Let's hear. Do you have a favorite book? Uh, better Not Bitter. Uh, my favorite book is The Lincoln Lawyer. Wait, wait, what's the name of the book where it's the one where uh, Huckleberry Finn won? Is that it? Huckleberry, Huckleberry Finn. Finn? Yeah, yeah. Probably the book for you. The last time I read a book for not school was yesterday, actually. What book? Uh, the Master of Negotiation. Last night. What book is it? I'm reading uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. Uh, probably in the summer. Hello. <laughs> I really like articles. Wow, that is such a good variety of books. And Anna, when is the last time that you had a great read? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember. I feel like maybe in the summer I try to pick up a Colleen Hoover book, but I could only get so far into it before I got distracted. I'm just much more of like a TV movie kind of person. Yeah, I think I just picked up like a light non-school read uh -huh. two weeks ago for the first time in forever. So I definitely feel you there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I need, I need a good read soon though. Mm -hmm. Still to come on What's Up Weekly, we get you caught up on this week's trending topics. Fans of the TV series Manifest are eagerly awaiting for Friday's premiere of season four. And want to be verified on Twitter, it could soon come at a monthly cost. All that and more coming up. Welcome back. It's been 13 years since the original Avatar movie was released. It's still the world's highest grossing movie ever, which generated a whopping $2.9 billion. The 2009 film ran over two and a half hours, but its sequel, Avatar The Way of Water, is expected to top that. Multiple reports say it will be over three hours, but no official runtime has been released. It's set to hit the big screens December 16th. It's going to be very interesting to see if the sequel brings in even more money than the original. Oh yeah, for sure. A rapper from the group Migos was killed yesterday morning in Houston, Texas. Takeoff is one of three from the platinum selling rap group. Houston police responded to the scene of the shooting in downtown Houston around 2.30 a.m. local time. According to officials, there was a private party being held in the area prior to the shooting. And two other victims were at the scene and taken to a hospital in private vehicles. An investigation is ongoing. 
Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talking about this today, and it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the group responds. And while the social media world continues to react to Elon Musk taking over Twitter, and the billionaire has been very vocal about changes that he wants to mm -hmm. make to the platform. And one of those, paid verification. Users could soon see a monthly fee to be verified on the social media platform. And guess what the price is set at? $20 a month. And Twitter users can currently subscribe to Twitter Blue for $4.99 a month, but verification is not a paid component. And Anna, neither of us are verified, but is $20 a month worth it for that blue check? I don't think so, personally. I mean, as college students, we need that $20, so I'm like, I have places elsewhere that that money needs to go to. Well, originally canceled after three seasons, eager fans of the TV series Manifest await the premiere of season four this Friday. The show focuses on the disappearance of Flight 828 and the reemergence of its plane, crew, and passengers years later. Fans were outraged over the show being canceled, many saying that the story was not complete. Hopefully all those wishes are fulfilled on Friday when that new season drops. You know, I've never seen Manifest, but speaking before the show, so many people in the newsroom like love it yeah. and have seen every piece of media for Manifest. Yeah, I mean, I started it. But then I only got so far into it and like stopped watching. So I really want to get back in it though, especially with a new season. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's up this week. Be sure to follow us on social media. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at IUSTV News. For What's Up Weekly, I'm Anna Black. And I'm Callie Lichter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in two weeks.